Hello, welcome friend. My name is Annika and today I'm going to do a little haul video because I turned 35 last month but it has taken uh, a little while for things to arrive because I did get a lot of cash uh, as a birthday gift. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got, uh, I got money so I could buy what I wanted myself and uh, I really appreciated that, so I, I got money from my mom and dad, my partner and my relatives and uh, a gift card to a bookstore that also sells a little supply, art supplies and um, office supplies, so I bought some there and I may have bought some things for myself as well. <laughs> So again, I did buy all of these things with my birthday money, so I'm not rich. <laughs> I just took the chance to kind of buy something for myself that I wanted to try. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the first thing. So the very first thing I bought for myself was this pack of um, 24 Prismacolor color erase pencils, erasable pencils, because yeah, I've been wanting them for a long time, and uh, uh, they're they are available in some um, shops here in Sweden. But I I looked at the place where I could order them online because I live in the middle of nowhere, so I couldn't uh, go physically to the store and buy them. So I looked at the store that, uh, and I was going to buy them, but I thought, let's look at uh, UK Amazon and see if they have any packs that I could buy instead and what that, that would cost. So it was actually cheaper for me to get this on Amazon than buying it with shipping, than buying it from the place that I was going to buy them here in Sweden, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. So here's the next batch of things that I bought, and uh, but it actually has arrived the latest. Uh, I just picked them up yesterday because uh, I bought them during a sale that the, the store that I bought them from had. Uh, so a few of the uh, things were out of stock but still available to be purchased, so I had to wait a little bit for them to get in again, so, but that was fine, I had no trouble waiting, so, uh, and the store that I buy, uh, often buy from is penstore.se, they do have a physical store in Stockholm, and I would like to visit that one day, uh, when I have a little cash, because I really would like to see the materials in person before buying them, but um, I usually buy from the web shop, and uh, it, but it's a really a lovely store, and I, uh, as I said, I use them a lot, and um, I like the variety of things that I have, and the prices are good. So, yeah, if you're from Sweden, pen store, if you are interested. So yeah, so uh, the thing that cost the most uh, were the aquarella colors. Uh, I got the pan um, because they were the cheapest. I was I was thinking of maybe do uh, buying the um, tubes and then fill in uh, my stuff, uh, but I there was no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, where were I? Yeah, I was going to buy tubes and then fill them up with the pans that I had in my palette, but uh, it was cheaper to buy them like this, so yeah. <laughs> and I think they will work fine. So uh, they're the Sminke uh, Horadam Aquarel colors, and I got a bunch. I got 12 different colors, it was really hard to pick, but here's a little uh, chart that I made. So we have Titanium Yellow, a Turner's Yellow, Ruby Red, uh, Quindacan... I, I can't say that word... <laughs> Quinacaridon Magenta and uh, Red Light. Uh, Potter's Pink is the sixth, and we have Perlian, I don't know, violet. Um, I really like that color. Uh, Helios, turquoise, uh, green earth, 
green amber, mahogany brown, and sminke paints grey. Uh, and I can actually show you my um, oi, my other uh, colors that I already had in my palette, uh, which are a assortment of different kind of brands. I have um, Winsor Newton. And uh, I think I, there's a few of Van Gogh and, um, and some other brands. It was difficult picking out what kind of colors I wanted, but I wanted to mention the Payne's Grey because this one is Payne's Grey, the Winsor & Newton one, and this was the Sminke one. So um, I find it interesting that they are a little different because the Winsor & Newton one is bluer in its tone, so yeah, I think I have use of that one. So, next thing these are these fun fountain, fountain pen ink from the Diamine. Um, we have Sparkling Shadows and Encha Enchanted Ocean. So these are the Shimmering Fountain Pen Ink. Um, and shimmer-tastic or something like that. Um, and I do blame Doodle Days for me buying these uh, because they have used at least one of these, not maybe the, these um, colors, but uh, the, this kind of ink in one of their videos and I, I wanted to buy that then. Uh, but since these were on sale, I, I got a gold and a silver and uh, here is a little chart of them. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. It's really hard with the uh, glitter uh, stuff to show, but yeah, I, I both of them are really pretty, so I am looking forward to using them. And uh, the writing here is with a dip pen, so yeah. But to since they're a fountain ink, they. Um, they will smudge with water, so I need to keep that in mind. Uh, the same with this one, which is a Lamy Joy. Um, it's a calligraphy pen. So it's got these nib. And I bought this because of, of the sale and because it was birthday money so I wanted to buy things that I, I was wanting to try but I would not necessarily buy myself so the in this it's a cartridge of blue ink in this one so um, um, but I bought this uh, little thing which I don't know how to use just yet but I will look that up once I know, and I don't know if I can use these, these in this one, uh, in in this one, um, or if it would clog up since it's got the shimmer in them. But if not, I do have other fountain inks that I can use because I don't think you should do use regular ink in the, these types of pens. But I could be wrong. I I have no idea really. Uh, but yeah, uh, so and I bought um, a Sig Kurataki brush pen number 24, which is a small one. Uh, it has a finer tip on it. Or what? Uh, yeah, uh, I do have the. I I think it's called 27, uh, which is a larger one, which I don't know where I put right now. But yeah, I wanted a, a smaller nib because I really like brush pens and I can't help myself I need to try them all so uh, yeah this one is uh, hopefully good uh, I did sort of a small swatching thing um, and this is um, watercolor paper so the uh, Lamy Joy didn't really work on that as you can see uh, but but uh, I didn't mention it, but it feels really nice to write with, so even though I might not uh, draw with it, um, it depends, 
Uh, I, th I will be writing with it, I think, because it was really nice to write with. And I bought a um, Signo Uniball pen. Uh, I have the, used them before and there, I needed another one, so that's what I bought. So, um, the next thing that I bought will be coming up next. So the next thing that I bought for myself was this uh, palette with different colors. I picked them out. Uh, it was really hard picking out what I, what kind of colors I would need. But since I'm planning to do mermaid and uh, I, I really would like to have some sparkles on them. So I kind of tried to pick colors that uh, would look cool with mermaids. And because it was Valentine's Day, they uh, offered a little gift uh, color. So this is a gift. Uh, anyone who ordered before, I think it was Valentine's Day, received. And uh, yeah, so I picked myself up another of these um, I would I say I <laughs> I'm saying fine tech, but I think they have actually rebranded. So they actually are from Colero.de, so it's a German company, and uh, uh, they made this fine tech um, gold palette that I really love. So I bought me uh, some other colors. And I've actually ordered another one because, yeah, <laughs> some other colors. Because uh, if you don't, uh, go follow them on uh, Instagram because they uh, post um, coupons and such uh, from time to time. So uh, they had another coupon going uh, for the other one that I bought that hasn't come yet. Uh, so yeah, I might have bought some more. <laughs> Uh, because as I said, I, I'm planning to do mermaid and I would like to do have some sparkles on them. So I bought some other ones that I was thinking of buying at the time when I bought these. Uh, but I had to limit myself a little bit. So here's a swatch thing. Um, I think they look the best on the uh, toned paper. Um, but... And it's really hard to show the sparkles in a video, but maybe you can see, sort of. And there are black pearl, uh, peacock blue, apple green, red brown, deep purple, and red violet. And as I said, the red violet was the gift that you got if you ordered before Valentine's Day, I believe. So on to the next thing. So the next thing that I bought barely fits the screen, but uh, it's actually uh, a little too big of a box for these colors or inks as they are. There are acrylic inks from Liquitex and um, they're the Muted collection. So there are five inks, uh, even though it's really misleading that it says 10 pieces. Uh, because there are only five inks in this collection and uh, but you the reason uh, why they say 10 is because you receive these uh, greeting cards so there are five greeting cards in there but yeah we have these bottles of ink which I really like the reason why I was uh, kind of cur curious about them was because Tatiana of Love Teacup Kisses, I want to say. Youth, I think it was the Muted Grey and the Muted Green, maybe the Violet, for her Inktober last year. And I was really curious to try them myself. And I was looking to buy this set uh, earlier, but I put it off. Uh, but now that it was my birthday and all, I kind of wanted to treat myself. So, and since I got uh, the money, I, yeah, I treated myself to these. So I actually really love... That was a lot of snow again. <laughs> Crap. So we're having a change in the weather, so that's why the snow on the roof is falling down, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, Whew. that was scary. Um, 
So the muted grey is probably my favourite. I have a swatch for these as well, if I can find them. So I really like the muted grey and I think this is the pink, the turquoise, uh, the green and the uh, violet. And as I said, I really like this one and I actually really liked this one to do line out with, with a dip pen. So these were the one that I bought for those. So next we have some sharpeners because uh, the color rays, <laughs> they came um, unsharpened and I actually sharpened them with a pencil sharpener that I had, but I, yeah, I really wanted to upgrade because it wasn't really good. So I bought this uh, m and crank style uh, sharpener and you can set it to be pointy or more of a rounded edge. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, so, but it's <laughs> it has this um, that you can put on the side of your desk. But my desk is too um, thick, so I can't use this one. But it's okay, I can just hold it with my hands uh, to keep it in place while I sharpen it. But yeah, so this was really nice to have. But for some things you may not w uh, be able to use this. So I bought a new uh, double hold. I don't know. <laughs> so it's a Stedler pencil sharpener and yeah. And it feels really fancy to have one of these crank styles because you had some in school and it was really cool to you. So it brings back memories. So and it, it seems to work fine. So I didn't invest in one of those really expensive one. These are, this one is a cheaper kind so but it seems to work fine um, with both colored pencils and uh, regular graphite pencils. So next up. So the next things that I bought was with the gift card that I received at a local bookstore that has some uh, office supplies and some art supplies. So I got myself some more of these uh, sleeves with the uh, nine ACO ATC pouches that I keep my the ATCs that I collect, uh, I keep it them in a folder and uh, uh, so we have a lot of great stuff in here. So you need, I keep them in these sleeves and I bought myself some new ones um, and they're the Ultra Pro Platinum Ultra Pro sleeves. Uh, I bought this little A5 folder uh, thing. I, I, I'm not sure what they're called. And some of these um, uh, po sleeves, pocket things for them. Uh, Dudley, there are uh, the frosted kind, but um, I'm just going to keep things in that, in that one. So I just bought uh, a pack of 100 so that I can keep things in it uh, because uh, I I I th thought that I would keep uh, A5 prints and um, such in here uh, and maybe even finished artworks if I need to keep them or carry with them anywhere. Um, so yep, this one and some pens <laughs> because I couldn't couldn't resist. So this one I haven't tried yet but it's a Pentel a gel pen and it's I think it's a hybrid thing 1.0 millimeter ball medium Pentel I don't know <laughs> it's nice to try something else than the Dune ball and the jelly roll so um, but speaking of jelly rolls, I got some other colors. So we have a metallic green one and a pink uh, moonlight, I think they're called ones. And I also got a pilot friction 
I think it's, yeah, pile of friction clicker thing. So these are the ones that you can rub out the text. Let's try it out. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, so I'm going to write my name. I haven't really figured out if you need to let the ink dry before you erase, but yeah, it's erasable, sort of. Um, so that's cool. Even though you can see the text, but yeah, it's erasable. Um, so it's a fun thing to have. So the last things that I'm going to show you are these um, yeah, gifts that I received from my relatives and friends and uh, family. So um, let's start with the artsy stuff. So I got another sketchbook and it's the one from Tiger. I actually haven't really looked but it's a 100 gram paper with 80 sheets and uh, E5-ish size. Um, and my friend Michaela uh, uses this sketchbook and she likes it, so I'm I'm looking forward to give it a try myself. So yeah, it's a sketchbook, and I got a sketch pad i5. Uh, I think this is from Tiger as well. Yeah, I'm not a real you. <laughs> it's Tiger. It's a sketch pad, and uh, yeah, paper is something that is always useful, so I'm looking forward to give this a try as well. So the last things uh, <laughs> is not art related, but it's inspiring to me. So I love Astrid Lindgren as I grew up, so these are some of my favorite books. My favorite one is Brennan Leijonhjerta. Uh, Brother Lionheart, um, but I don't. I already have that one, so I also wanted Mio Min Mio, which I also really love. And I love this uh, special edition with the cloth, uh, it feels so fancy. And uh, yeah, I look forward to reading this, these books to my daughter when she is a little older. Uh, because it was a really big part of my childhood and the reason why I started loving love to read. So I hope we can pass that on to my daughter. And this is also Astrid, Astrid Lindgren, but it's Sunnaning. But it's the illustrated version and it's the illustrator is Marit Törnqvist. And I haven't read it, but I, I love this story as well and uh, I'm looking forward to reading it again in this format. Love this one as well and a bookmark uh, with a little a mousse which is cute so yeah so yeah let's bring some art supplies in so <laughs> it feels better I don't know so Here's <laughs> everything that I got uh, for my birthday. Uh, I I was very low key about my birthday this year. I, I really didn't feel like it was anything to celebrate, but I was really lucky to receive birthday money from my family and and relatives. So I'm really grateful for that, and uh, it feels inspiring. And I hope that I will be able to create stuff with all these supplies. Some of the stuff, I like the Prismacolor color race pencil I have been uh, drooling over for a long time, so it feels nice to finally be able to try them out myself. Uh, and some things like this um, Lamy uh, pen, I, I wasn't really going to try, but I felt like, yeah, why not? It might be something for me. Um, yeah, so so finally I kind of would like to leave you with some art at least. Here are some of the cards that I have been working for to make for the ETC at Up With Friends trading card group, uh, which is hosted by Papkins or Tabitha Jensen, and 
I will have everything linked in the description below, including all the materials, so if uh, you didn't pick up what I said for anything, I will have things in the description, and if I can find links, I will put them in there, but, but some of the stores might not ship overseas or to other countries, since I bought them in, here in Sweden, so keep that in mind, but I will include uh, names to everything in the description. So the Mar March theme is robots, so I made this. Uh, so this one is finished. Um, I have started all the rest, but I haven't gotten super far with the other ones, but this is the second one that I would like to continue with. And this one I actually used in that, that muted uh, gray, which is sort of like a purple, uh, which I really liked, with a dip pen and to do the outlines with. So I really like that. And I actually used it on this one as well. But since I used a blue pencil, uh, it kind of looks a little different, I think, um, than on this one. But maybe that's just me. But this one, I hope it will. I will be able to do justice because I really like the idea. So that one is also in the works. And this one, uh, I don't know if you can see, is also... I think this one will be a Copic one. Uh, I need to figure out if I want to line it or if I want to use more of a soft approach than this one. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, so these are the ones that I am actually working on at the moment. Or sort of. It's been a rough week and um, I haven't been able to draw very much, but hopefully soon. So yeah, I think that's uh, everything and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hey though!